And I want to get you to a poem of the Lord on the credit of the My spirit name means she who speaks the truth, woman warrior leader. So I have many responsibilities within this community and as a, as a woman and my name. And one of them is to take care of the water. And it is also the responsibility of all the women within our teachings to take care of the water as it represents life or life giving. So the modeling says life. So in our teachings, the women are to take care of me be the water and the men are to take care of the fire. The women are to know about the gardening, gardening and all the children and, and pass on all the cultural teachings to them. The men are to know about the fire, to know everything about the the bush and the medicines in there and how to make different types of wood to make um, crafts for burning, for heat, for uh, medicines, to tap the trees, all of those types of things. So um, I'm grateful that to be asked to talk about the water at this time, and I'll be in a bigger tent to talk, or over in the grove that we usually have to pile off to talk about the water. But, I, but first I want to mention a young man in our community that is um, not doing well, and he, their family usually comes to the Palo, um, and his name is uh, Philip Thomas, so I want you to, want you to keep their family in, in uh, your prayers. And um, the other thing is, I want to thank Watana King, my niece, for doing the prayer. And she's, she talked about um, offering our tobacco, so when we go anywhere, we have our sema, and that's what we're doing. What creation, our creator wanted, within our teachings is just to give thanks for everything that you have. So in that prayer, she's saying, thank you to the four directions, thank you to the animals, thank you to the food, thank you to the four winds, thank you to the water, thank you to all of creation, to the moon, the sun, the trees, everything. Just like Omohoi people do in our Thanksgiving address, she's doing the same thing. Um, and thank you for that love. So there's water songs and it's saying the same thing. I'm um, thinking to thank you. I respect you, I love you, and I thank you. We as humans um, need the earth, Mother Earth, and everything, the, her blood, the waterways within her. And it's our responsibility to look after that. And she doesn't need us. We were the last one created in creation. So when we do the water walks, it's been going on for over 10 years, that's what we're doing. We're singing those songs and listening to the messages. And the messages that have come that I've asked some of the women that have come, what is the message? And we're, we're offering tobacco to the water continuously, and what is the message that are coming? And the message is, you are asking what you can do for me. We, the, the water, is, uh, is asking you to look after yourself, because you can't help me if you don't look after yourself. So be mindful what you put in your body. Be mindful how you think how you look after yourself, what you're doing for your spirit, what you're doing for your emotions. So that's what it's saying. Look after yourself first before you can help me. Mrs. Sargis of the Credit put a water claim in last year, and we're asking the water in our, around our territories to be treated and be given rights as a human being. New, New Zealand did that last year, and that's what we are petitioning for. So I'm going to sing this water song, um, and that's what it's saying. I thank you, I love you, and I respect you. for 12 hours a day when we do the water walks. 
and I have a little one that we drink out of. So that's what that that's what it's about. So I'm gonna leave it up here at the front to remember and to remind why we are here and those prayers that we put are in for, in for the water. Miigwech. No miigwech. Round of applause for Valerie King. Oh, 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 oh.